Here is the perfect pizza cooked in the Gosney Dome. Pepperoni, Italian sausage, salami, again cooked in the Gosney Dome. Let's find out how to make this. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. This is the Pizza Guy John and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make the perfect pizza in the Gosney Dome. Um, you, there's different couple options. You've got propane, natural gas, and wood fired. But again I'm just going to be showing you guys some simple easy tips on how to make the perfect pizza in the oven. Um, it doesn't have to be over complicated but again if you're wanting to up your game and make the best pizzas at home then that's what this video is going to be about. So let's go inside and take a look at the oven. Been preheating now for about 45 minutes to an hour. And so this is the Gosney Dome. It is windy today so I do have the shield on there kind of protecting the wind from blowing it. Um, the Gosney Dome does have uh, a door that you can purchase um, but again I'm just going to show you guys with this and so again like I said it's been on for about 45 minutes to an hour and you want to make sure the you know most important tip is making sure the oven is at about 800 to 850 so right in the center we're looking about 812 uh, close to the flame right here we're looking really close almost to like 900 and again this has been on high preheating now like I said for about 45 minutes to about an hour um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that covered up again this is the gas option so it is a propane you can do wood uh, but I'm going to turn it down just a little bit there and let's get inside and let's make some pizzas all right so we do have dough that we did make again I will go ahead and link that above, but you could also buy dough from your store. Um, a lot of big chain restaurants or local stores will make dough, as well as your pizza shops. If you ask them, they'll give you some dough. Um, but I will, like I said, go ahead and link that above. Um, toppings, you can choose toppings, you know, whatever you choose is, is your creativity. Um, in today's pizza, I'm just going to be doing what we call a meat pizza. I got some pepperoni, some salami, and some Italian sausage, which basically I'm just going to rip up in pieces and place that on top. Uh, comment down below if you like to place raw meat or do you pre-cook your meat. Again, it's going into a really, really hot oven, so it will cook. Again, as long as you have it in small pizzas, your mozzarella, and then your red tomatoes. Or your sauce which again these tomatoes i like to use are the bianco de napoli so uh, let's go ahead and get our pizza or dough and i'm not really going to explain too much about making the pizza this again it's all about making the pizza in the dome so uh, i'm just going to go ahead and get this and i will go ahead then and make the pizza and exp and show you the actual pizza being made in the dome so give me one second let's go ahead and get this in here and flip that back down and again this is a poolish dough that i did make again i will link that above but i'm just going to go ahead and let's get this stretched out and i'm just going to get this watch me do that and this dough ball is roughly around 260 I believe is what I made this one so perfect for about a 12 inch pizza. In the dome you could do up to about 16, 17, 18 inch pizzas. Um, so you could definitely make some pretty big pizzas. Um, but I'm just gonna go with a 12 inch pizza here. And put this on here. And get that just like that. And red sauce down. And again, your toppings, like I said, it's your pizza. Be as cre creative as as you can as you want. Oh, we're just getting this sauce evenly distributed on there. Then we're going to go down with our cheese. And 
Now this is about 112 grams, 115 grams of cheese, which again is perfect for, uh, you know, 12 inch pizza. And we're getting that like that. And since my hands are already dirty, then I'm gonna go ahead now and just get our sausage. Um, and again, um, this is some Italian sausage and we're just basically making uh, small pieces here. And again, we're just putting this here all around the pizza. And again, it, you could cook it, it's up to you. But I like to do small pieces, raw pieces here. And you just kind of get that all the way around. And I will be back, wash my hands real quick. All right, so you do want to be quick with the pizza as well, but let's go ahead and fixing that and we're gonna go down with our pepperoni now and I'm just gonna kind of get enough pieces here And then we're going to do some salami. And these pieces will just kind of go around like this as well. Do two more pieces. Alright. And then next We'll go into the oven and then I'll share my next tip. Uh, again, cooking the perfect pizza in the dome. So we're gonna go ahead and launch this in there. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get this launched in there. And the moment we launch it in, then at that point, then we want to go ahead. Next tip would just basically be to turn the oven down low. Um, Cause again, you want to make sure that the pizza is cooking evenly. If you have it on high, the toppings are going to cook really quick. Crust, top of the crust is going to cook real quick and your bottom won't get cooked fast enough. So um, again, you want to go ahead and get that turned down low. And we'll go ahead and watch that cook. Again, the next item, making sure, again, you're spinning it roughly 20, uh, well, 30 to 40 seconds. Um, so we'll go ahead and get that spun around. You can see the bottom is cooking nice and quick. Toppings are getting nice and crispy. bottom is cooking nicely just a little quick but it's okay and at this point I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of pick it up and make sure that again I'm getting this crust nice and cooked and like I said you could cook a pizza really really quick in the oven as long as you are spinning it quickly. And so just like that, the pizza is gonna be nice and cooked. We're gonna go ahead and get this inside and we'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, so here is the pizza again. It's nice and cooked. Again, this was done in the Gosney Dome. Let's listen to that crust. Nice and crispy all the way around, nice and brown. So you can see the cheese is mounted. Again, as far as the uh, sausage, it looks nice and cooked brown. The salami got a little burnt to it, but again, that is totally fine. Let's go and take a look at this bottom. I know the oven was really hot, um, but as you can see, that bottom is nice and cooked all the way through. So let me go ahead and let this cool down and we'll get a taste of this. And again, this is the perfect way to cook a pizza in the Gosney Dome. All right, here's the pizza again. This was cooked in the Gosney Dome. 
pepperoni, it has salami, and it has Italian sausage. Let's go ahead and get a cut into this. Could hear nice and crispy. Nice and soft dough is what you want. And we're just gonna go ahead and get this piece right here. See the crust is nice and cooked all the way through. Bottom nice and cooked. I'm gonna go ahead and let's get a bite into this. This pizza is better than restaurant style. Again, it is going to be restaurant style cooked back in your backyard. Again, can't any can't get any better than that. If you like my videos, like and subscribe. Turn on that bell notification. Comment down below. Check out my Instagram at the Pizza Guy John, and we'll talk soon.